Postgraduate training in surgery has been a point of great pride at Michigan for many years. Our residencies, which include general surgery, vascular surgery, thoracic surgery, and plastic surgery, attract talented people from across the United States and have produced some of the most important surgeons in this country. Clinical training is the bedrock of our residencies and will remain our number one priority. But many of our trainees are also attracted to the incredible research opportunities of the University of Michigan. And the fact is that winning federal support for resident research endangers this important opportunity. We're excited to initiate the Resident Research Endowment Fundraising Initiative. It's received incredible support. The Department of Surgery has contributed $6 million as seed funds for this effort. The faculty of the department, who know firsthand the importance of resident research, have pledged $300,000 a year for each of the next 10 years to this effort. The remaining funds to come from alumni, grateful patients, and community leaders. Ultimately, this is about our residents. This is about their futures. These are their stories. Thank you for listening. My focus during my academic development time is on short bowel syndrome. It affects children and adults, but predominantly children. And it happens whenever a patient loses a large portion of their small intestine. So you've heard of heart failure and liver failure. Well, this is intestinal failure. Where basically, there isn't enough intestine to absorb nutrients. So there are children born with congenital diseases where they're born without intestine. Or there are patients who lose their intestine due to different surgical diseases. And the end product is they rely on intravenous nutrition to sustain life. And um, while this keeps them alive in the short term, there's significant complications with this, mostly infection and liver failure. We are working on a device to lengthen the intestine. So if you've heard of tissue expanders, well this is a tissue expander for the intestine. So with this, we, we have a device that we place in the intestine and we're able to lengthen it over the span of a week or two. And in animal models, we're able to get more than twofold lengthening of the gut. And this, it appears that this intestine that we grow is functional and can uh, replace the function of some lost intestine. We have a team of engineers, business people, and um, surgeons who are sort of focusing on pediatric devices and trying to understand where are areas that we can make new devices to help children. And so um, this device that I've been talking about is one of the ones that we've been working on. For the advancement of medicine, we want people who are, who are looking at the next step, who are saying, okay, how can we fix this problem long term? How can we really understand what's going on with these surgical diseases that we're fixing surgically and we're treating surgically? And maybe making them make, make the treatment better for the next generation. And so to do that while you're clinically active is very difficult. Um, and so to have that time just really focus on this problem um, has allowed me to get you know, an in-depth understanding of it. And uh, you know, having this time to just honestly play. Uh, and out of play comes invention. And that's kind of what we found is that by tinkering around in a prototype lab, we've come up with a few different versions of, of, uh, of devices that have since been put in animals and um, have had incredible <laughs> outcomes as far as uh, intestinal lengthening. And, uh, and now we're, these are the same things that have, led to, have since become the device that we hope to put into clinical use.